Hello everyone, I thought I'd go even more Christmassy today so I'm wearing my antlers and my flashing Rudolph nose. Have any of you got any antlers or sparkly noses? And your Christmas jumpers, you see I've still got mine on. I saw all your pictures yesterday and they were wonderful, so well done. You've got some lovely Christmas jumpers I've seen. I'm going to read you a story today about a cat and I wonder if, how many of you have got cats at home. This one is called... Mog's Christmas. I'm sure you know this one. It's a really lovely story. And I'm going to read you this, but I just thought I'd show you actually my cat who's called Alice. She is asleep at the moment, so I'm going to be really quiet and let's just see if she's still asleep. I'll take you to see her and then I'll start the story. Right, can you see? This is Alice and she's asleep as you can see. And she's so cozy and warm. So I'm going to be really quiet to not wake her. OK, then we're going to go back to the story about Mog. Mog's Christmas by Judith Kerr One day Mog woke up and nothing was right in her house. Everybody was busy. Debbie was busy, Nicky was busy, Mr and Mrs Thomas were busy. And there were too many people in the house. There was a jolly uncle and two aunts on tippy toe. Mog thought, I don't like it here. She went and sat outside on the windowsill. There was nothing to do and no one to play with. So after a while, she went back to sleep. Suddenly she woke up. She saw something. It was a tree. It was a tree walking. Mog thought trees don't walk. Trees should stay in one place. Once trees start walking about, anything might happen. She ran up the side of the house in case the tree should come and get her. Come down, shouted the tree. Come down, Mog. First it walks, thought Mog, and now it's shouting at me. I don't like that tree at all. And she ran right up the roof. The tree went on shouting for a while. Then it went into the house. Mog stayed on the roof. Some white things fell out of the sky. Some fell on the roof and some fell on Mog and they were very cold. At supper time, Mog was still on the roof. She must have her supper, said Debbie. Mog always has her supper. Mrs Thomas gave Mog her supper, but still Mog did not come down. In the morning, Mog did not come down either. She'd found a nice tall place and she was asleep. She was having a lovely dream. Mog dreamed that she was sitting on a cloud. Some white things were falling out of the sky. Mog tried to catch them. She was very happy, but suddenly the cloud began to melt. Inside the house, everyone was sad because Mog would not come down. They were too sad to eat their breakfast. Even... The jolly uncle was sad and one of the aunts cried. Suddenly there was a noise. It was a noise in the chimney and then something came down it. It came right down the chimney and fell into the fireplace with a thump. It's Father Christmas, cried one of the aunts. No, dear, said the other aunt. Father Christmas doesn't have a tail. Debbie cried, it's Mog. Mog had to have a bath, but then, then everything was lovely. The whole house was lovely. The tree had stopped walking about and had made itself all pretty. And Mog had three boiled eggs and some turkey and a present to unwrap. Happy Christmas, Mog, said Debbie. 